So Arcdays, I haven't seen Arcdays in a while, um, but he has the, you know, the Schnasty Falcon. Mm -hmm. Has, um, so I don't, I'm not familiar with Arcdays at all. Has Arcdays won a Friday Night Netplay before? Or is this no. his first time in Grands? This is his first time. So we have the man who's won, I think, the most Friday Night Net plays in Raven King. Up against someone in their first ever Grand Finals of Friday Night Net play. Gets a double up air, but uh, couldn't follow up with anything off stage. Oh no! <laughs> what a reverse edge guard, guard that I honestly yeah. did not see coming. That's like that's the danger when you go off stage against. Arsene Joker, like, you know that he's vulnerable because he has that linear recovery without a hitbox, but he can just kill you at 40% just like that. He, re he really did. He really did kill him at, like, nothing. Mm. Ooh, get the down tilt, I think. Yeah, it's not yeah, gonna be able to make Yeah, just barely. A little too far. Uh, he is at 121, but the Falcon does have the capability of doing crazy combos. Mm. Ooh, good parry great there. parry, but nothing out of it, unfortunately. Raven King going for another Tether Cancel back here. Uh, kind of a staple of his run tonight, but... Great recovery by Arctis, able to avoid that. Like you know, does get hit by the backer. Last stock of the game already. Mm -hmm. I was almost wondering if Raven King's a little upset that he had to use the Arsene to get the kill there, because now he's got Arctis at the mid percents that Arc Arsene wants to kill at, and he's about to run out of Arsene. So that was almost a great parry on the downer. It is a little bit awkward, because uh, like, like multi-hits are always kind of weird, especially the two-hitters, because people forget their two-hitters. Mm -hmm. I like the attempt with the knee, but not the place the Raven King was there, so... Yeah, he's able this to... is bad for his um, Arsene bar, because it's super, super low. Mm -hmm. And it's it's not safe to really do, like, Rebel's Guard reads, because he's at a high enough percent where he will die. Mm -hmm. On the plus side, though, I don't think he needs Arsene. Oh, but he could just <laughs> edge guard him like here. that. Another staple of Raven King's gameplay tonight is going deep for those edge guards, especially Arsenless as he was. Um, Raven King taking game one of Grand Finals. Getting back into it, same characters, uh, possible stage switch, I, I would hope. Yeah, probably something With a little bit smaller. how long it took to get back into it. Probably something a little smaller. Three, no. Or not, one, or not. Go. Never mind. Or not, something that's roughly the same. Mm hmm. How about something blue? Change your hex code, change your weapon. How about we skip Gen 4 and go right to Gen 6? See, now I'm just sad. <laughs> is, uh, is Gen 4 happen to be your favorite? Yeah, it's the one I grew up with. Mm. Uh, I, I just also know, like, so, like I could replay Platinum. So I can replay it, like, now. And I haven't played it in forever. And I know, like, all the little hidden, like, oh, there's an invisible thing right here at the beginning of the game. It's worth, like, $3,000 Poké Dollars to help you. That's how I am with um, Emerald. Oh, 
I still think on the ground in Gen 4. Slapped. Yeah, I really do miss Where the are those remakes I coming in? I don't remember the date. I was Ooh, a great good. tech on the wall right there, so that can be kind of... I don't actually know if that was a tech or if that was just Arsene Momentum uh, stopping Joker there, but either way, gonna get Edge and uh, Arctice taking the first stock. Another gun dash is like basically wave dashes up to him. Mm. Ooh, he wanted to for the right downer knee. It was a bit like I think just too low of percent where he just didn't pop high enough. Mm -hmm. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Arctice here as he plays the lead. Um, he's not afraid of Raven King, which you can't be when you're fighting him. You have to know that you can get like these up smash raids. You have to know you can scoop. Yeah. Nerf is up a full stock. Well, I don't know what he's going for with that up air, but that would have been a sick edge guard if he got like the tip of it. Just bop him away just far enough. Triple! Of, like two or three fair ones in a row there. Mm -hmm. Alright, down throw up here. Not gonna take that, but that so, second up air? No. Up air, barely no. I think it sailed just enough on that because of the first mm -hmm. hit where it just barely didn't kill. Tries to go for a roll read with the up smash right there. Okay, the not... also got killers. okay, there it is. Just barely hitting the edge of that back air. At 107 though, so one stray hit will kill him. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, it just wow. kind of jumps in it up and does not die though. Arctice has to be careful here. We got Arsene out. You're at 25%, but if anyone's gonna be able to work an Arsene at this percent into a kill, it's gonna be Raven King. Yeah, I mean, he's at 58, so he is at death oh. percent. Not unless he gets spiked by the side B. I, for a split second, could not tell who got spiked there because Raven King went for a downer, but... Arctice with an amazing recovery option, and it's able to steal every King stock. It takes into a 1-1 situation for game three. Let's get into game three right here. Arctis on the Falcon, Raven King on the Joker, no character switches. No character switches, I don't see any happening. Maybe unless a, um, a set switch happens. Probably not. Mm -hmm. Well again, I am not familiar with Arctis. Does he have any other characters or is he just I have Falcon only, loyalist? I have only uh, like heard of him using Falcon. I don't know if he has any other characters. I haven't seen too much of him. I I I played him once in like 2019 at like an ignition <laughs> forever mm -hmm. ago. That's I think I think the one time I met him. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Oh, Ooh, the that was down. I thought he was just gonna go for the up air, and I was like, that's not gonna kill. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, that bro? Anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so. <laughs> uh, ciao, anyway, so. Um, ciao. Ciao, bye. Uh, step chow, anyway, so. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Oh, get the another super head up there. He, up he dashed right into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he oh, waited he so long for it, didn't matter. Because Rebel Guard lasts forever. Mm -hmm. It is actually a great percent for him to get Arsene because it's at that perfect kill percent where. Uh, like, stuff's gonna start killing after he hits him maybe one or two times. Oh, he tries to get another drag down He tried down to go there, for it. But... He was very high when he did the actual drag down, so it makes sense why it didn't connect. Mm -hmm. And a great. great tech on that one. You can do the same thing with, um, Ganondorf. If you're in that position mm -hmm. and you tech the wall on it, you just get to punish him. Yeah, uh, Falcon and Ganon did lose a little bit of the lag, uh, in that situation, in the most recent patch, but... Obviously Not Raven enough King, to survive yeah. something like that. Obviously Raven King's still gonna hit that every single time. And get a gun edge guard, but <laughs> a crazy honestly, that was a crazy combo. Brought him to 54 with all of that. Mm hmm He might take the stock here. Okay, never mind. He does. Nope. Three? He does. Yep. Raven King taking game three, only one game away from resetting bracket. Yeah, but we've seen uh, Archetice backed into a corner in winner's finals. He was down 2-1 to Byleth player. I forgot his tag already. But uh, he was down 2-1 to the Byleth, brought it all the way back. So... He definitely has the capability of it. It's just a matter of will he against a player of Raven King's caliber. All right, let's see where we're going here for game number four. Raven King up to one. Three, going to Smashville. One, so this is the first kind of smaller stage we've seen this set. We've seen uh, Stadium, Kalos, and Town, three of the biggest stages in the game. And we're going right next to Smashville, which I believe is the smallest. Um, I'm pretty sure? I don't know if Small Battlefield is smaller than Smash's uh, Blast Zone. Regardless, it's a... I think um, it's... it's a massive switch from the previous three games we saw. They're gonna be a lot more up close, a lot more personal with each other. As Archetice takes a 101% to Raven King's Joker right now. He's about to lose our Sen as well. There it goes. Yeah, there. I just realized, like, the percent uh, difference is already kind of crazy. Mm. But Raven King can make it up just like that. You know that for sure. That's a great combo. Takes Arctic to 70. Run into another up though, taking another, like, 20. Mm. I like the avoidance of the jabs, because at this percent... Ooh, Ooh good did back no here. tech on that one. I think he was expecting to get his own hit out first. Mm. Oh, I love that edge guard. Yes. 
Oh, <laughs> oh double double. Dunk. I thought he was gonna- I thought Red King was gonna die off one of them, which was really funny. That entire time, Arctis was without a jump. He didn't restore his jump that entire time. No, and the, the Uffy having reduced end lag on it uh, made it a lot easier for him to be able to do something like that. Mm hmm. Raven King going deep for these edge guards. He wants to he steal wants, he Arctis. Wants yeah, he wants to steal Arctis' stocks. He wants to die of yours. He wants you to commit die, and he wants to help you commit it. You know, as assistance of the die. Mm -hmm. Oh, no tech there. No tech, although the slanted stage did allow him to live. Mm -hmm. Alright, no jump here from Marion King, but... Oh no, he does have a jump, I he did, he did have the jump. He, I think he grabbed the lunge. Okay. Oh, he does die, so he is down a uh, stock on this game. Does have to get an edge guard in order to even things up. Almost kills himself. <laughs> oh! Does he not have That's a jump? Him. I guess not. He yeah. didn't have a jump. No, I just have a great up the edge guard right there to uh, to take that game. And it's game five here in the yeah, first set of game Five of set one. So this could either end now or go on for another possibly five games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Arctice. Well, it is Raven King's game to win because it will be on his counter pick. But if Arctice can put it away right here, stop all hope of a Raven King comeback, that's going to be a huge feather in his cap. Especially winning the last Friday Night Net play. Yeah, I mean, winning winning the last Friday Night Net play to me is like the bigger deal. Because I think that's mm -hmm. just, that's more fun. Yeah. Plus, I believe that Arctis has been on a bit of a tear as of recent. I think he's won at least two tournaments this week. Uh, from my brief check of his Twitter before Grand Finals. Um, so he's, he's definitely been leveling up and putting a lot of stock into this Captain Falcon as of late. All right, no switch. No, char no character switches. I wouldn't. Ex I wouldn't expect a point. No, absolutely not. Yoshi. I forgot this Yoshi's... stage is a stage. I think this Yoshi's is the small the... stage. This might be the small stage. You're right. And I, I, I'm pretty sure. It's... I forgot about it though. It's interesting uh, as a choice for Raven King because I feel like there's there's got to be a different stage that was available to him that. Joker does good on that Falcon doesn't because I feel like both characters really benefit from this The platform layout really helps them both it has the wall so Falcon can wall jump Like It, it helps tiny. recoveries with both of them um, It's Tiny the slants also I think make it easier to two frame Arsene as well as probably Falcon as well Yeah Ooh, the knee? Ooh. Yay! We haven't seen it yet, I kind of wanted to see it. <laughs> the single hit there, down air knee, and that's Raven King's first stock gone. Arctice from With mounting a crazy lead. lead already, already wailing on him again. Mm. Although is off stage now, it's a dangerous position to be in. Tiny stage. Yep, Raven King gonna get that every single time. Ooh. I don't know Jeez. what this combo is. It's crazy though. That was build a bear combo right there. Just do everything at him right there. And ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Tries, Tries for another knee, but uh... tries to go for an up, uh, up B as well. Although that top platform does save him from getting punished. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the gun edge cards aren't really uh, working out as well in this stage because. Ooh, good up smash. Ooh, yeah, it does fall into an up smash, and up smash being crazy uh, does kill mm -hmm. him. Yeah, the gun edge cards aren't working out as well because. Um, Arctic can make the wall, wall jump instead of actually jumping. Yeah. And now Raven King on his Ooh, final almost, stock. Almost ends him. His final stock of winners bracket right here. It could be all over in just a few Ooh, Just moments. barely doesn't die to that one. No uh, air dodge though. Okay, does get back to ledge. That was a scary moment with that side B. Ooh, Tries not to match. for their hardest read. Uh, Tiny Stage, possibly not working out Raven King's favor, dies to the nair off stage. Tiny Stage. Tiny Stage. And just like that, Archetice takes Fred and Netplay number 50.